Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, I I have basically binged this video game nonstop for about 18 hours on and off, about nine, eight, nine-ish hours a day. Um, I've been, I'm in love with the game Raft. And I'm in love with it for the simple premise of it has satisfied a need of mine that I kind that for anyone else listening who might also have that I hope to clue you in but this is a game that got a whole bunch of popularity months and months ago and I'm just getting to it now because Evan be slow like normal but what else is now Raft is a survival game that has that the vibe of it is is it 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 it, 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 it feeds into the gameplay of it feeds into a very lethargic almost feeling of loss of yearning and that is reinforced by the opening of the game you start on a 4x4 four four raft you are being quite literally hounded by a shark who is if if you go into the water he takes bites at you and if you know you're on your raft he'll take bites out of your raft trying to get to you and you are just how you're, you're being followed perpetually by this shark which you can kill but another will always show up and you are just floating through the ocean floating through the ocean with debris of planks and barrels and palm leaves and pieces of plastic trash floating through the ocean until you know and you 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 with a with a hook and rope in hand you're like you just start hooking stuff in and grabbing things from afar you know trying to you know build more space on your raft so you're able to function that is until all of in the distance you see it an island oh thank god an island and you come upon it, and then you realize you have no way to stop your raft because you don't have you can't stop the raft. You don't have like an anchor or something, you know. And so you're, and, and so you're just like, oh okay. Um, then you start frantically building stuff. Like okay, oh a paddle, I can paddle back. And then you realize the paddle just you know by the time you get to the island, fighting the current. The paddle's broken. And so you're just like, oh, fuck it. I'll hop on the island, grab some stuff, and then, and then, you know, the, the, the like, the, like, it's, I can build a new raft. You can't build a new raft. You're, the, in the, the in the book, you, you, you start with a journey with a picture of your sibling saying, see you and dry, see you where it's dry, and a list of rules. Your hook is your friend. Your raft is your life. This is the first rule. There's no hope on land. In fact, when you reach land, even when you are able to dock, you can't actually build anything on land physically. You can't, you know, build house you can't build you can't you know you can build like tools and stuff but you can't you know build any structures the only place you can build where's the only place you can build your structures your raft and so what ends up you know starting as a feeling of lethargic longing and wondering why the world you know is over and why you're just fo like floating through this endless ocean o occasionally you know finding an island cutting down some trees with the with a rudimentary stone axe from stones you pillaged off the ocean floor or you were lucky and found them in a barrel and to in 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 you and then you realize your raft is your life Sure, it's hard initially. You don't, you know, you've got to, you know, get some stuff to 
cook some water and purify it and desalinate it. Uh, sure, you've got to, like, get a grill to, like, cook the odd beet or potato you found in in a, um, in a crate somewhere. Or you got lucky on an island and found some pineapple. Or even better yet, a watermelon, which is a two-for-one in terms of the amount of sustenance it gives. Or you turn to fishing and eat copious amounts of cooked tilapia, herring, and palmfish. And slowly but surely, you figure it out. You can... You don't need to go to every island. Sure, some of the chests might have some rare materials that you can't make. But as you take, make a research station and slowly start, you know, throwing components into it and seeing all the different things you can unlock, you realize you don't really need the islands unless you're looking for a specific materials. You know, useless items like seaweed and clay, like like things like 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 useless things like clay and sand turn into bricks, which then can be turned into a smelter, and then that smelter can take that useless seaweed and turn it into a a a, a kind of glue, which then you can use to make a better water container, water bottles, and make a bow and arrow and God forbid you're able to find some copper on the ocean floor, like opera, copper ore on the ocean floor. You can com- you can pair that with some of the glue and some other stuff and make things like batteries and circuit boards. Automate and then and then instead of having to constantly manually take these little farm plots you've made to sustainably like get some food, you can just automate that shit. It automatically waters it for you. You just have to plant it and pick it. And then, now that you're, you know, you've built this large, imposing amount of bases, you know, you've got, you've got metal tools and can do everything you need to, you know, the little, the hot, the large, you know, the hodgepodge structure you've built to sort of get everything going, it's not really that attractive. Hey, I've got a lot, I've gotten a lot of little parcels out of all of these crates and barrels I've picked out of the sea. Oh, they have all have recipes in them for shells and trophies and sofas and beds and and all manner of like you know of of, of furniture and and apparel. Wait, I can take these these useless flowers that I couldn't eat. I can turn them into dyes and paints. I can, and, and, and you're like, you know, the, the interior walls don't look very good. I think having a nice, bright color scheme on the, on the inside would be lovely. And so, now, with all of the, with, with, with the ability to, you know, use nets to just catch shit that's floating through the ocean, you don't even have to manually catch things anymore out with your hook. That you just auto, it'll auto collect them as you, as they float by. And now you're able to just, Focus on the decor, the painting, the, the 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 how detailed your raft is. Do you want to have a white, like a white, ex, like a white exterior? Maybe have some nice little lights going around the outside of it. Maybe get like maybe do, make the entire interior an indigo. Throw those. Maybe throw some um, party lights in there too. Definitely give it that a uh, bisexual uh, video essayist <laughs> vibe. And so what ends up happening, and and so what ends up happening is is that you end up having a a floating homestead. It could be as large as mine, or I've seen tiny ones that are compact and nice and quaint and have everything they need from, you know, all in one. And you see these rafts that are just lovely. Is there a story? Yes. Do I care? No. There's purpose. And there's places I haven't even been to yet that I've seen on other people playing the game that I haven't been to. And honestly, I don't care. Yes, there's more to explore. And I'm still in. While I haven't come fully come hundred percent to the game, I don't think I ever would. Yeah, I could get every achievement, unlock every item, but. 
the joy of just accepting the, th- the you know you know taking control of the things i can control and accepting the things i can't and just floating through the ocean passively well at the point of recording my life's not going super great so being able on some kind of cerebral level to accept to to what was the uh you know i am not a i am not a religious man by any stretch of the imagination far from it but i do love my mother and it's time and you know while i'm dealing with the hardships of my own life my time with raft reminds rem- reminds me of when my mom would say the serenity prayer Grant God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And that's Raft. There's hardship, but once you start, you know, and but once you know, there's hardship, and yeah, it, it can be hard early on, but once you push through, once you stop trying to, you know fight it and you just embrace the ride and everything feels okay and that's raft and i love it you know it's and it's a 20 dollar game that was huge a year ago but i'm still playing it i'm get to playing it now and it's wonderful i encourage anybody who hasn't gotten a chance to give it a shot give it a shot it's great Um, thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for listening. If you want to talk to me outside of the podcast or you want to engage with our wonderful community, please consider joining our discord at discord.gg slash HI media. And if you are already a member of our discord, please consider becoming a paid, uh, a, a, a paid subscriber on, on our discord. You get things like new, new vi- like, uh, er, getting videos a week early, exclusive videos just for, uh, member channel members and well, plenty of other perks like access to our discord soundboard. I appreciate you and everybody listening for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I think and I will see you guys next time.